नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आफ्टर रीडिंग ऑल दिस ये कविता और इस कविता का भावार्थ समझने के बाद पोएट क्या चाहता होगा कि आपके हमारे मन में महिलाओं के प्रति थोड़ी सी समझ जागे हम महिलाओं को समानता की श्रेणी में देखें सो पोएट इज वॉन्ट टू कन्वे सम मैसेज ना द क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन दैट द क्वेश्चन इज डू यू सिंपथाइज विथ आंट जेनिफर क्या आंट जेनिफर के साथ आप सहानुभूति रखते हैं वॉट इज द एटीट्यूड ऑफ स्पीकर टूअर्ड्स आंट जेनिफर उनका व्यवहार आंट जेनिफर के प्रति कैसा है वॉट इज द आंसर डू यू सिंपेथाइज विथ आंट जेनिफर यस द आंसर इज वेरी मच यस आई सिंपेथाइज विथ आंट जेनिफर बिकॉज द वे शी हैज अंडर गॉन ऑल द ट्रबल्स इन हर मैरिड लाइफ द वे शी हैज बीन इल ट्रीटेड द पास्ट एक्सपीरियंसेस हैव बीन बैड through various suggestions and symbols the speaker has tried to the the the, the poet has tried to portray the unpleasant part experiences of her life a married life i would go a step further not only is she not only should we sympathize but we should empathize महिलाओं को वास्तव में यदि कहा जाए तो सहानुभूति की जरूरत नहीं है कोई भी सहानुभूति नहीं चाहता वो चाहते हैं कि आप उनकी जगह पे यदि हो तो जैसा महसूस होगा जैसा हम करते हैं वैसा महसूस करो फील द इशू अंडर गो फॉर वाइल द सेम प्रॉब्लम्स एंड इश्यूज दैट वी हैव अंडर गॉन सो द करेक्ट आंसर हियर वुड बी येस वी सिंपथाइज because of the way she has been treated and the poet has narrated all her past life but it is better that we empathize the world has plenty of people who will sympathize duniya mein hazaron lakhon log hain jo sahanubhuti dikhate hain par sahanubhuti dikhakar aage badh jate hain has the world changed like this poet there are lakhs of people who are very distinct toward women supportive of women but condition of women has not changed much the world still remains patriarchal the world still remains dominated by men and women being treated as second grade citizen so the poet is very very angry at that and rather she want that we must empathize hame unki jagah par kuch samay rakh ke mehsoos karna hoga then we will start thinking better about them the next question what do we learn about aunt jennifer tigers on reading the poem what do we learn about her tiger after reading the poem or for that matter other question can be describe the tigers created by aunt jennifer the tigers created by aunt jennifer are very lively they look prancing they look fearless they look sleek handsome and so this is the characteristic of tiger that i see that is seen through this poem next describe the poetic devices used in the poem a very important question from the angle of grammar kavita mein kiye gaye 
काव्य उपकरणों का वर्णन करें आंट जेनिफर टाइगर इट्स ए शॉर्ट पोयम एंड एज आई इन द बिगिनिंग ए पोयम विच इज फुल ऑफ इमेजरी इमेजिनेशन इज रिट लार्ज एंड सिंबल्स आर टू मैनी थिंग्स आर कन्वेड मैसेज इज कन्वेड थ्रू सिंबल्स एंड फॉर डूइंग सो मैनी पोएटिक डिवाइसेज हैव बीन यूज इन द पोएम टू कन्वे दट The poet is trying to convey through the symbols the unhappy life, the life which was full of troubles, the unhappy married life of a woman in particular, and the trauma, the trials and tribulations, the harsh treatment, the unpleasant experiences, all this during her lifetime. they have been used through symbols the metaphor bright topaz what is bright topaz why is this word used bright topaz shows the shining yellow complexion of the tiger tiger that yellow in color shining sleek it shows shiny yellow color while terrified hands and uh, ring with audials they make one feel the agony the pains of unmarried life unmarried uh, unhappy married life similarly the use of alliteration that is alliteration you know we have discussed that in the previous chapters sleek chivalric certainty chivalric certainty is alliteration where c is used twice in two consecutive words this is alliteration so through alliteration it is described that the pace of the tiger is mentioned massive weight of wedding bands it symbolizes the ordeal of an unpleasant life of aunt jennifer and so all these poetic devices have been used in this short poem as much as they are being used in other long poem at the same time this poem has rhymes and consistent rhymes the last word of each line rhyme with the next line last word of the next line so jo isme jo कहने का अर्थ यह है कि इस कविता में जो सिंबल्स यूज किए गए हैं जो प्रतीक यूज किए गए हैं और जो कल्पनाएं हैं वो उसी के माध्यम से इस कविता में सारी बातें कही गई हैं और मैंने उन कल्पनाओं का और सिंबल्स का बार बार जिक्र किया है और वो कल्पनाएं और जो दुख हैं वो अनमेरिड हैप्पी लाइफ की ओर इशारा करती हैं महिलाओं के लिए फॉर वीमेन चाहे वो भयभीत हाथ हो, चाहे वो कठिनाइयों से घिरा हुआ उसका ज़िंदगी हो या उसके अलावा आ, और भी जो इसमें बातें कही गई हैं ये सब आ, काव्य उपकरण हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट डिफिकल्टी डज आंट जेनिफर फेस वाइल मेकिंग हर टाइगर एंड वाई व्हाट डिफिकल्टी डज आंट जेनिफर फेस वाइल मेकिंग हर टाइगर and why answer is very simple the difficulty she faces while making the tiger is that her hands are fluttering hands are wobbling hands are shaky and because of that she is unable to hold the needle properly she is unable to work on her work properly she is unable to do proper work क्योंकि तो सुइयाँ हिल रही हैं नाउ द आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाई ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है व्हाई इज हर हैंड फ्लटरिंग अगेन द आंसर इज वेरी वेल नोन टू यू नाउ हर हैंड आर फ्लटरिंग बिकॉज इन पोएट्स वर्ड्स हर हैंड हैव द वेडिंग रिंग विथ मैसिव वेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन interpret the symbols 
found in this poem. I told you right at the beginning what are the symbols used and symbol means Pratik Chin and what, are, what do they symbolize or what do they tell you? One is the Chin, what is the Chin? So Chin or its connection to this is the question about interpret the symbols found in this poem. One is massive weight of wedding band, then terrified hand, ringed with ordeals. They all indicate unpleasant experiences of uh, Aunt Jennifer. There are three words which prove, which show that Aunt Jennifer had a very unhappy married life. Which are those words? Massive weight of wedding band, ringed with ordeals and terrified hands. Atankit haat, jinne lagatar atankit kiya gaya. So it symbolizes the bad times in the life of Aunt Jennifer. Other symbols, tiger, which denotes men, domination. The other symbol is the women trying to pull the needle, finding it difficult. That symbol is for showing that life is, has been very painful for her. The next symbol, the fluttering hands. They show that she is not able to, they symbolize that she is not able to fulfill her dreams. She is struggling to fulfill her dreams. Life has been a struggle for her. This is another symbol. Jeevan uske liye sangharsh raha hai. Aur mahilaon ke liye yahi hota hai. It is basically a struggle all through for women folk in general. The next question is, where are Aunt Jennifer Tigers and how does she create them? Aunt Jennifer ke Tiger kaha hai aur wo ne kaise banati hai? Bahut saral thawal. Aunt Jennifer's tigers are on a screen, woolen cloth, she creates the tiger on a panel with wool and ivory needle, right? Her tigers are no less in comparison to the real life tiger. Because her tigers also show the power. She has made the tigers in such a way that they look very powerful. Image of strength, image of speed and of splendor. All three in that. Grandness is shown in that. She has made the image in that. She has pace the tiger. They are walking very fast, pacing with speed and image of strength. How will Jennifer's hands look when she is dead? That is the next question. Question from the last stanza. How will Jennifer's hand look when she is dead? The answer is the experiences of life the trouble that she faced, all this will be left even after her death. The ordeals, the hardships during her married life, they have left a permanent impression on her hand. Her hands will look 
terrified, as the author says, even after she is dead. By being still, they are telling lie. They are not still. And the horror of uh, her troubles, ordeals, will not leave her even after her death. It will continue to haunt her. It will continue to chase her, continue to be after her. The next question, what will happen to Aunt Jennifer Tiger when she is dead? Tigers ko kya hoga jab wo mar jayenge to? What will happen to Tiger? She is dead. Tiger is not real life Tiger. Tiger is on a panel, on a screen made of thread, the strings and threads. So what will happen to tiger? Tiger will remain. As the last line says, tiger will remain prancing. Tiger will remain looking chivalric. Tiger will remain looking grand. Mahilao ko kuch bhi ho jaye, purusho ko kuch nahi hota. Mahilao, ek parivar ki mahila chali jaye, probably, author wants to say it doesn't make any difference to the male men folk and so nothing much will change even after death these tigers will continue to remain and the author says they will thrive on the panel they will look still all the more grand and they means they thrive means Symbolism, the men folk, nothing will happen to him, them. They will thrive, they will grow. It, they will be ever prancing, like majestic, splendor, fearless, fearless of the men beneath the tree. They will keep being happy. Oh, Rajasi Tarike se. शान से निर्भय वो जो पर्दा है उस पे बने रहेंगे वो टाइगर और बल्कि उसके बाद भी वो जीवित रहेंगे और उतने ही मस्त दिखेंगे जितने उस समय थे जब जेनिफर उसको बना रही थी वाई डू यू थिंक नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाई डू यू थिंक आंट जेनिफर क्रिएटेड एनिमल्स and that are different from her own character. Aunt Jennifer ke swam ke charitra se alag janwar kyon create kar rahi hai? What might be the poet suggesting through this difference? Aapke vichar se Aunt Jennifer aise pashi kyon bana rahi hai jo uske khud ke charitra se alag hai? And what does the poet want to say that by that? आंट जेनिफर का चरित्र कैसा था बहुत कमजोर यातना से भरी हुई जिंदगी हाथ कांप रहे हैं एक महिला है और दूसरी ओर पशु कौन सा वो भी टाइगर जो बहादुरी के लिए छलांग के लिए स्वतंत्रता के लिए और अपना वर्चस्व बनाए रखने के लिए जाना जाता है वर्चस्व है जे मनी तो वाइट इज द पोएट वॉन्ट दिस आंट जेनिफर क्रिएटेड एनिमल्स विच आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आंट जेनिफर कैरेक्टर आखिर सवाल ये उठता है वाई आंट जेनिफर वॉज ड्राॅइंग टाइगर्स इमेज वाई नॉट अदर इमेज और हर ओन सेल्फ थ्रू टाइगर्स इमेज शी वॉज ट्राइंग टू कन्वे समथिंग By making tiger image, she was trying to convey something. Maybe she was trying to say, "Kash, I be as she was. Kash, I be purush hoti." Or maybe she is trying to convey that this tiger, this purusho, the mahilaon ki aur meri zindagi barbad karte hain. Tiger is prancing. Tiger is sleek, chivalric. They do not fear. 
इवन द मैन नियर हर पास में भी व्यक्ति से नहीं डरते और महिला दूर खड़े हुए आदमी से भी डरने लगती है दीज थिंग्स वॉट डू देम्बलाइज दे सिम्बलाइज स्ट्रेंथ फियरलेसनेस ब्यूटी विच इज जस्ट द ऑपोजिट ऑफ आन जेनिफर ब्यूटी फियरलेसनेस ब्यूटी में कहाँ से आई है शिवलरिक एंड स्लीक बड़ी सुंदरता से जिस तरीके से वो लोग चल रहे हैं बड़ा सुंदर रमणीय दृश्य होता है जब टाइगरों को आप चलते हुए देखें तो वो सुंदरता वो बहादुरी वो निर्भयता निडरता एक और ऐसे जानवर को वो बना रही है ऐसे जानवर की मैं जो इस चीज़ के लिए जाने जाते हैं और दूसरी ओर खुद एक बहुत ही मीक महिला के रूप में है शी इज नॉट ओनली मीक शी इज वीक वेरी वीक ट्रेम्बलिंग भयाक्रांत शी इज सो वीक दैट शी कैनॉट इवन पुल द वूल विथ हर नीडल इतनी कमजोर महिला की स्थिति की ओर इशारा है द ऑडियंस ऑफ अर अनहैप्पी लाइफ द एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ द पास्ट मैरिड लाइफ दे आर देयर ऑन हर वाइल द टाइगर नो इल एक्सपीरियंसेस फॉर दैम दे हैव नो बैड एक्सपीरियंसेस दे आर रॉयल सो द प्रॉबेबली आंट जेनिफर जो है वो ऐसे जानवर को बनाकर शायद दो बातों में से कोई सी एक बात कहना चाह रही एक तो काश मैं भी ऐसी होती जिसमें ऐसी क्वालिटीज़ हों उछल कूद करने की स्वतंत्रता की शौर्यपूर्ण व्यवहार की शालीनता से चलने की निडर रहने की और मैं नहीं रह पाई तो कम से कम उसका चित्र तो बना सकती हूँ दूसरा शायद वो अपनी चिड़ उस इमेज से दिखाना चाहती है कि इन्हीं लोगों ने इस तरह के लोगों ने इस जानवर जैसे पुरुषों ने मेरी हालत ये बना दी है अर्थात महिलाओं की हालत ऐसी हो गई है तो जेनिफर ऐसा चित्र बना रही है जो कि खुद के कैरेक्टर के बिल्कुल विपरीत है खुद की छवि के बिल्कुल उल्टा है वो एक सुई भी नहीं छीन सकती और वहां टाइगर निर्भय सो दी आर द कंट्रास्ट एंड दैट इज द रीजन वाई Probably Jennifer is trying to make that animal, which is far, far away in traits and behavior from the behavior of herself. Next question. After reading all this, ये कविता और इस कविता का भावार्थ समझने के बाद poet क्या चाहता होगा कि आपके हमारे मन में महिलाओं के प्रति थोड़ी सी समझ जागे हम महिलाओं को समानता की श्रेणी में देखें सो पोएट इज वॉन्ट टू कन्वे सम मैसेज ना द क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन दैट द क्वेश्चन इज डू यू सिंपथाइज विथ आंट जेनिफर क्या आंट जेनिफर के साथ आप सहानुभूति रखते हैं What is the attitude of speaker towards Aunt Jennifer? उनका व्यवहार Aunt Jennifer के प्रति कैसा है What is the answer? Do you sympathize with Aunt Jennifer? Yes, the answer is very much yes. I sympathize with Aunt Jennifer. Because the way she has undergone all the troubles in her married life, the way she has been ill-treated, the past experiences have been bad. Through various suggestions and symbols, the speaker has tried to 
the 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 poet has tried to portray the unpleasant part experiences of her life a married life i would go a step further not only is she not only should we sympathize but we should empathize महिलाओं को वास्तव में यदि कहा जाए तो सहानुभूति की जरूरत नहीं है कोई भी सहानुभूति नहीं चाहता वो चाहते हैं कि आप उनकी जगह पे यदि हो तो जैसा महसूस होगा जैसा हम करते हैं वैसा महसूस करो फील द इशू अंडर गो फॉर वाइल द सेम प्रॉब्लम्स एंड इश्यूज दैट वी हैव अंडर गॉन सो द करेक्ट आंसर हियर वुड बी येस वी सिंपथाइज because of the way she has been treated and the poet has narrated all her past life but it is better that we empathize the world has plenty of people who will sympathize duniya mein hazaron lakhon log hain jo sahanubhuti dikhate hain par sahanubhuti dikhakar aage badh jate hain has the world changed like this poet there are lakhs of people who are very distinct towards women supportive of women but condition of women has not changed much the world still remains patriarchal the world still remains dominated by men and women being treated as second grade citizen so the poet is very very angry at that and rather she want that we must empathize hame unki jagah par kuch samay rakh ke mehsoos karna hoga then we will start thinking better about them the next question what do we learn about aunt jennifer tigers on reading the poem what do we learn about her tiger after reading the poem or for that matter other question can be describe the tigers created by aunt jennifer the tigers created by aunt jennifer are very lively they look prancing they look fearless they look sleek handsome and so this is the characteristic of tiger that i see that is seen through this poem next describe the poetic devices used in the poem a very important question from the angle of grammar kavita mein kiye gaye kavya upakaranon ka varnan kare aunt jennifer tiger it's a short poem and as i said in the beginning a poem which is full of imagery imagination is writ large and symbols are too many things are conveyed message is conveyed through symbols and for doing so many poetic devices have been used in the poem to convey that the poet is trying to convey through the symbols the unhappy life the life which was full of troubles the unhappy married life of a woman in particular and the trauma the trials and tribulations the harsh treatment the unpleasant experiences all this during her lifetime they have been used through symbols the metaphor bright topaz what is bright topaz why is this word used bright topaz shows the shining yellow complexion of the tiger tiger that yellow in color shining sleek it shows shiny yellow color while terrified hands and uh, ringed with ordeals they make one feel the agony the pains of unmarried life unmarried uh, unhappy married life 
Similarly, the use of alliteration, that is alliteration, you know, we have discussed that in the previous chapters, sleek chivalric certainty. Chivalric certainty is alliteration where C is used twice in two consecutive words. This is alliteration. So, through alliteration, it is described that the pace of the tiger is mentioned, massive weight of wedding bands, it symbolizes the ordeal of an unpleasant life of Aunt Jennifer and so all these poetic devices have been used in this short poem as much as they are being used in other long poems. At the same time, this poem has rhymes and consistent rhymes. The last word of each line rhyme with the next line, last word of the next line. So, jo isme jo kehne karthiye hai ki is kavita mein jo symbols use kiye gaya hai, jo pratik use kiye gaya hai, aur jo kalpanaye hai, wo usi ke madhyam se is kavita mein sari baatne kahi gai hai. Aur mainne un kalpanao ka aur symbols ka bar bar jikr kiya hai. Aur wo kalpanaye और जो दुख हैं वो अनमैरिड हैप्पी लाइफ की ओर इशारा करती हैं महिलाओं के लिए फॉर वीमेन चाहे वो भयभीत हाथ हो चाहे वो कठिनाइयों से घिरा हुआ उसका जिंदगी हो या उसके अलावा आ, और भी जो इसमें बातें कही गई हैं ये सब काव्य उपकरण हैं 